Hey YouTube, this is Claire Brown once again coming to you um, to discuss a new topic. <clears throat> As you know, we're going to have uh, several blood moons and eclipses. And it's a very interesting time because we tend to put a lot of focus on the moon, especially people in the metaphysical um, <clears throat> community and the Wiccan community and the you know, the Satanists do it. <laughs> Even the religions uh, are putting a lot of focus on the moons. Uh, <clears throat> what is interesting about that is several years ago, I heard from my master teacher that the moon was a satellite. It was an emptied, hollow, hollowed out planet that was brought here and is utilized to control our... Okay, I'm um, sorry about that. So... Again, from my master teacher, I heard that um, the moon was a satellite and it's used to control us. And um, it is something to that assists with the elf waves, like uh, the low uh, elf waves. So what it does is like it's a satellite. That's what I heard. It's a satellite. And it sends down these signals and it works alongside of our grid with these low frequency elf waves and it affects our moods, our behavior, our um, natural, like the women's uh, menstrual cycle that controls us in that way because that supposedly wasn't, we never used to have a menstrual cycle uh, like we do now, it's different. Um, and because we're mostly water, it also, the satellite, the moon also controls the tides and because we're mostly water, it controls our, you know, our liquid um, frequency. So, you know, water holds frequency. You heard about that whole thing where um, if you tell water, I love you, the frequency raises and it changes the molecular structure of the water, makes it more loving looking, beautiful looking, almost like a beautiful geometric uh, star. And then when you say to the water, I hate you and negative things, it, what it does is it makes it look almost like a, like a, a distorted looking um, shape that looks almost like, like pins and needles. So it's interesting that that might be the case. So we're putting a lot of emphasis on this blood moon, and a lot of people are setting up rituals and altars and um, really going to utilize the energies. But I'm trying to think if some people should be a little mindful not to put too much focus on this particular moon. Um, and still utilize, if you're doing rituals or anything for manifestation, you could still utilize that regardless of any phase of the moon, but perhaps um, just doing it with the thought that it's you're utilizing it through the universal creator or, you know, what have you. I don't know what deity or um, if you're doing your Orishas, um, you know, you would just do that with your Orishas and that would do it as opposed to doing it um, with some moon energy. Because I don't know about this moon. I'm excited about it. Um, it started last, I heard uh, East Coast time, what was it, like four, three something in the morning and then 12 something midnight for um, the West Coasters. So it'll be interesting. Anybody know about this? So let's see how the phase of the blood moon, I know it's gonna bring in energies and I know that planetarily, we're gonna experience some ebb and flow. But um, how that manifests or how it comes through is going to be interesting. So I'm really excited. But I just wanted to put that out there that perhaps we shouldn't put so much focus on the moon, even though it is an entity that we see and a fixture in our sky, you know, just like everything else in our matrix, <laughs> could have been orchestrated to, you know, further induce our chromatose state. So anyway, I wish everybody well during this wonderful, you know, eclipse. And keep safe and also, you know, keep your karma clean and keep all the parasitic people out your life. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about it, about the moon. We can have a discussion about it. And, um, you know, uh, I'd like to hear what concepts you have about this particular uh, blood moon cycle that we're going through. And, and it's uh, quite a few uh, with a few eclipses to, um, in there. So anyway, wishing you well, Fleur Brune. Leave a comment and a like if you like the video. Thank you. Bye.